Hi, I'm Stu. Welcome back to another LumaFusion video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a double exposure technique. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is your silhouette layer. And I've created this silhouette layer in Runway. And as you can see, it's just a silhouette of a guy with a bit of a textural snow rain effect and clouds in the background. The second layer you're going to need is your texture or detail layer to blend through to the black of the silhouette. And in this case, I've created a kind of southern Texas landscape with oil wells. You can see the effect there. Now to blend the two together, I'm going to highlight the southern landscape, tap on the pencil icon, go to my colouring effects, and you're going to want to go to the keys. And we're going to want to use either, depending which way you have got your silhouette, light luma key or in my case dark luma key you can then play with the range blend the two together just to kind of get that look and then you can also decide whether the edge blur is going to be needed and also increase the erosion distance so that the two layers interact with each other you can play with your roll off so i'm just going to do slightly less so it's just a little bit more of the silhouette and then when we come back out and we play this clip through that's our initial blend. And you could leave it just like that. That's absolutely fine. But just to take it one notch higher, I've got my texture overlay. So let's drag that down. And we want to go into our pencil icon, tap on that, and then frame and fit. Go down to our blending. And you're going to want to set it to either overlay if you want something moody or soft light if you want something more cinematic i'm tending to go for a more saturated overlay look and then just pull back the opacity to probably around about 65 and there we go and we can then see the blend between those two now to finish things off i'm going to create an adjustment clip make sure that it conforms to the 10 seconds and a couple of frames, which it is. Double tap on it, go to our frame and fit. And what we want to do is adjust our location, add a keyframe at the beginning, go to the end, add another keyframe, and then we want to just increase the size so that we've got a kind of dolly in effect. Go back to the beginning, play it through. And that seems to be working smoothly. Now whilst we've got this adjustment clip here, we can go into our colour and effect and just go through the different colour options. And I'm going to go for a yesteryear look. I'm going to take the brightness back down to normal, reduce the contrast to normal, and bring the gamma back up a little bit. And there we go. And then you've got the option of having a kind of sepia tone, or if you wish, just switch that off and go for the colour effect. And what you can also do is export either or, and I've got them here, bring them back in as another layer, go to our frame and fit, and then down to blending, and then you can play with the opacity, and also likes a soft light, and then you'll see the overall effect that we've achieved. I just sell some titles, and you are good to go. And that's how to do a double exposure effect in LumaFusion. If you've enjoyed the video today, like and share it, and I will catch you on the next one. See you later.